Do you see that Sims 4 now has a daily login event? Wait, Sims 4 daily log. The Sims 4 login rewards met with mixed response. Yeah, duh. I thought that was being outlawed. Didn't they just like make that illegal? Oh, that was in China though, right? You can't, they had to, they have to like remove, they have to remove like daily rewards from Genshin and stuff. Sims 4 has introduced a daily login rewards where player with players divided over the latest features. Each item will be made available for free over the course of the next few weeks, but the catch is it's a limited time event and simmers must log in on eight different days in total. Oh. Um. I don't like that. This is the gateway to loot boxes. This kind of behavior. The base game is free and this is free. So at least there is that. But. But. Because they have a store, an in-game store, this draws people into the game because, oh, I gotta sign in, I gotta claim my free shit, and then that puts you face-to-face -face with all of the paid stuff, which makes it more likely that you then go, oh, hey, there's a sale on that one, I'll buy that one too while I'm here, click, and then they make a sale, and they make money off of the free stuff. Or at least as a result of the free stuff stuff drawing you in. That's the reason for this type of like login bonuses. Uh, it's it's to put you it's to put you in the store by promising you free stuff. And it's not great to see from The Sims because that's a very sort of young young crowd focused game. Young young people. And you know, it's like Fortnite stuff. It's like targeted to a younger audience, or at least it, it encourages a younger audience, but then they also monetize it at the wazoo. It, it's, a very, it's a very red flag for Sims 5, for sure. The team will be developing events with objects and gameplay connected to the Sims seasons. That's... Wait, the Sims seasons? As in, like... Battle Pass, as in like, as in like Fortnite season, suggesting the players can expect further events with more rewards to claim in the future. Events can also be timed to a variety of different occasions in the calendar year or general theme to look forward. I mean, if it's timed as in like a general event for a calendar thing, that's different. You know, like if you have a Christmas event, obviously that happens around Christmas. But when it's just an arbitrarily timed event for arbitrarily limited products, like it's not like they're gonna run out. It's digit. It's a, it's a model. It's a three D model of a, of a cabinet or a pillow. It's a pillow. That's it. Even it's just this kind of crap. It's not even good stuff. <laughs> it's just a normal middle part haircut. Some simmers on social media were happy with the free items. Other criticized the event for being time limited with the nature of daily rewards. Yeah, yeah. Lil Simsy said while the event was less frustrating than early purchase content for expansions as these rewards are free, she still had mixed feelings saying it had battle pass energy and speculating that it might be a test for Project Renee. Exactly, that's, that's what I mean by like a red flag. This might be them dipping their toe in the pool to see how the, how the, uh, the fan base, the user base, responds to stuff like this and it might also be which i think is even more insidious a way of desensitizing the sims crowd to this type of stuff if they start by trickling out some free things that are not very time limited you know you have what you gotta log in what was it like 10 times during a month or something which isn't egregious but then they can they can they can bump it next time and then they can start charging a little bit maybe you can do it for free or you can pay to just get it over with like you can pay to unlock all of the stuff instead of doing it for free and then they can start charging you for a boost that makes it easier and they charge a little bit less than the full price for the full unlock 
And then Sims 5 comes out and then, oh, it's got a monthly subscription and there's a storefront with t weekly timed and it just turns into Fortnite. That would be very sad. I think that it's the model itself and the psychology behind that makes me really uneasy, said Simmer Aaron. I agree. The event, the event felt like the event was a tactic and a way to try to bring those who may have stopped playing due to the game's lags and glitches. Yeah, that's what I say as well. It's like... It's a it's a way to entice people to to bait people to come back and then get caught up in the system again. Is this enough to entice you to come back if you've stopped playing a dartboard and a moon necklace, a, a pillow, a green pillow for week three? Wahoo. Most of the stuff that that the Sims have been doing for the past like five years feels concerning at at best not to say that they haven't made anything good i mean there is there are nuggets of good there are pearls hidden gems inside of their garbage piles but it's just it's starting to tip the scale from mostly gems to mostly garbage piles if sims 5 has a monthly subscription like world of warcraft i'll not be playing same i do think though that they won't have a monthly subscription i would be very surprised if they do i don't think that they do um because their target audience is younger a younger crowd and and families and stuff but i do very much think that they will have a store, like an in-game store, with microtransactions, and I do very much think that they will have, based on this, I very much think that they will have some sort of battle pass functionality that you can purchase to skip, and that it unlocks things that you cannot get uh, through any other means other than the battle pass, because that shit makes absolute gangbusters money. You you make like the companies that put microtransactions and this is what's so sad because it works you know they wouldn't be putting microtransactions in every game ever if it didn't work in the second quarter of 2023 activision blizzard generated 1.69 billion dollars through microtransactions dlc subscriptions and licensing royalties 1.7 billion in 2023 uh the second quarter of 2023 and when they when you hear numbers like that it makes you even more frustrated like with with blizzard right they make that amount of money on microtransactions and they still charge both for the actual games and a monthly subscription cost so you're already paying for the game and its expansions, and then you're also paying monthly subscription service to be able to even play at all. If you're making that money in microtransactions anyway, everything else should be free. Completely. There should be no cost to the game, there should be no transaction, like some uh, monthly subscription. There should be only the microtransactions in this case. It's, I, I feel like it's almost like not different than uh, Star Citizen now.